Hi, my name is Manuel, and today we're going to talk about how to integrate System.js into AM. The idea is to have your JS files organized into modules so you can reuse them more easily and maintain them in a, in a better way. We are going to also be using Adobe's project archetype. So this is the one in, in this URL. And they have another URL, this one, in which there is a description of what this archetype is generating so you can understand every piece of it. So if we go below, you'll find a description of, well, it has two pages, two templates, a page component and stuff like that. Also, you'll see how to configure maybe some th settings like the proxy and stuff like that. And also you'll have here the description of the arguments that you have for the archetype. And then below you'll find an example application using some of those predefined values. We're going to use the same values, but we are going to be using it in one simple and single command line. All right. So and other prerequisites that we need are, well, Maven, obviously. And if you go into this URL over here and then into downloads, you'll find the Maven 3.3.9 bin zip file. So you can download it and then install it in a local folder. The other thing that we need is system.js and well, this was kind of obvious and you can go into the repository over here and then into the dist uh, folder and then download the system.js file in that folder so we can start using it. Another good resource is this URL over here by 6D Global and You'll find here a, a way to integrate require.js into AM. And also they are creating another module for require. We are not doing that, but yeah, this is another really nice article about doing this. So, okay. So let's go and, and start creating our, our app using the archetype. All right, so let's open up a console or terminal window so we can start creating our own application. So I'm going to paste here a rather long command line with all the parameters that we need. And if you see here, you'll find that we are using the same values that we have on the Adobe Experience Manager page for creating uh, an application using the archetype. So you'll see that the same parameters like the group ID, uh, for example, uh, is the same value that we have here on this page and some other uh, parameters will have the same value. So this is a way to create the same application, but not having to type them uh, over and over again. So you see here that we use this minus D, then the key equals and the value. All right. So now let's use those values to create our new application. So it will try to confirm that those are the values, which of course they are, and we have our new application created. All right, so let's go to our newly created folder, echo 62, and also open up brackets and let's go to the readme file so we can copy this line over here so we can install our application on AM. So we will paste this here and then hit enter and wait until it uh, installs install the application into AM. We're going to log in into AM using our credentials and then go to the site manager 
so I'm changing into the classic view because I like it more or well I I'm used to it so I'm going to open up the site admin and then browse to the home page uh, that is the English page in this case so we are going to open it up in another tab to see that everything worked and oh this is what we see when we first installed the ar the archetype the archetypes up generator application so we have a, a, an easy and simple fix for this and just copy paste this line uh, that we are going to show in the pom file for the core module so let's start and let, let's install again the application into AM and just go to the home page and refresh the page so you see that the issue is already being fixed. Awesome. So let's get back to brackets now and let's find the, the file that configures our client lib so we can start adding Our dependency that will be jQuery. So in the etc designs am62 app clientlib-all folder, locate the, that content.xml and add the dependencies equals jQuery line so we can start using it without any problems at all. The other thing that we will need to do is that we need system.js on that folder as well. So let's copy that file into that folder. I'm doing that uh, on another window. And then right click on the client lib all and then refresh file tree. So the file uh, appears. Now head to the js.txt file and add the name for the system.js file library to it so it can be referenced and used from within AM. All right, so let's create our first module. We're not going to create a subfolder for it, but I suggest you do just to organize better your modules. So let's create this mymodule.js file and then declare it by using this system.amd require. We're going to declare that we don't have, at least at the moment, any dependencies with this empty uh, open and closing brackets. And then we're going to define what the module should have. Again, as I said, we could have used, like for example, jQuery in another module, just to have everything uh, with the, um, the modules idea but given that it is already being included we don't really need to do it so we are going to define this some function in which using jquery we're going to change the body of an html element that we are going to reference by class so let's say hi this is what we're going to to do well to replace on that HTML element. So given that we don't know the name of that class, we're going to change a little bit one component that comes with the base archetype that we have used to generate our app. So let's go into the hello world component located in the AEM62 app components content and then hello world. So let's add a div at the end of this file and let's add a class for it that we're going to name hello world-js and we're going to use js at the end just to identify it as something that is only used within modules or javascript files so we, we know that they are not being used for styling. And we're going to call this function whenever the page has been loaded. All right, and again, don't forget to add that 
the name of that file to the JS.txt. I've forgotten a lot of times to do that, and a couple of minutes or maybe hours later, I realized that I just forgot to, to add that. So that would be embarrassing, right? All right, so let's refresh this page, and you'll see that we have the high in, in the HTML element. All right, awesome. So now let's create another reusable module. So we can reuse the stuff and utilities. And for this one, we're going to use the AMD define. And again, we're going to not use any dependencies. But in this case, we will have to define a name for this module, given that we are including it statically in the client list. So even though we are not creating subfolders, I'm going to assume you did, and I'm going to create this one in the util subfolder, and we're going to call it with using the same name that the file has, the reusable module. We're going to copy the well, what we did before, and then we're going to redefine the way that some function works so we can export it and reuse it on other modules. So we are going to define this module and we're going to copy that some function and define it as being part of that object. And we're going to also rename it so it's clear what it is doing. So we're going to change it to say hi. All right, and then we're going to return that module object so it can be used in any other module that is reusing this one. Also, we're going to change the message so we know that everything is working and that it's not working because we have maybe a caching issue or something like that. All right, then let's refactor the my module uh, component module, per, sorry. And let's declare that we have this dependency, the utils slash reusable, and let's have this variable to have the, the module. So now let's use the say hi function here. And again, let's reinstall the application so we can see here oh again don't don't forget to to add the reusable module js to the js.txt and if you see there the the order doesn't really matter system js is going to resolve that for us all right so let's hit refresh when the installation is finished and voila now you have the message being generated uh, from the reusable module. All right, thank you very much and see you soon.